In 1989, the ancient palace of Nimrud in northern Iraq set the stage for a startling find. Experts called it the most significant discovery since King Tut's tomb, the treasure of Nimrud. While we were cleaning some of the rooms, we discovered that there are some indications for a vaulting underneath the floor. We took everything out and we tried to sort it and we discovered that uh, we have here the bodies of at least two queens. Solid gold bracelets still adorned their bones. A royal treasure entombed more than 2,000 years ago. This remarkable footage shot by Iraqi archeologists is an exclusive record of their extraordinary discoveries. For the very first time, the tomb of an Assyrian queen had been uncovered intact. The royal sepulcher still displayed a curse to protect its occupants. Should anyone break open the seal and remove me from my tomb, let his spirit roam in thirst under the bitter rays of the sun. And may the great gods of the underworld inflict his corpse and ghost with eternal restlessness. Ignoring the curse, archaeologists excavated more than 125 pounds of beautifully crafted jewelry, crystal goblets, and exquisite carvings. The ancient Assyrians were master goldsmiths and artisans. But the value of this treasure far exceeds its worth in gold. In death, Assyrian queens were lavished with riches. But in life, it was her kings who forged history, kings with a taste for empire. In the year 701 BC, King Sennacherib and his army struck out across the desert toward the Mediterranean Sea. The bold Assyrians were determined to conquer all that lay in their path, the cities of Judah, including